Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of Eight. And today I'm playing Agricultural Simulation Real Farm. Uh, game single player only. Uh, there's two different modes that you can do. There's a career mode and a free mode. Uh, career mode gets, starts out with a tutorial and you kind of grow your farm business up from owning a very simple tractor to buying more farms and stuff like that. Whereas free mode gives you more stuff to start out with. So I'm going to do a new game. Uh, which you can't click on <laughs> unless you click five times in a row. And then you select your difficulty level, uh, which basically just uh, changes how much money you start with. So I'll just do it on normal, which is fine. And uh, free. Uh, no, I do not. All right, so here you go. You start at your farm. It's the same... Uh, set up every game. Uh, there's only one map in the game, which is not that large. It basically spans from the mountain range right behind your farm to the mountains you can see off in the distance on the other side. It takes about 30 seconds, I'd say, to drive at full speed between one and the other. Uh, gameplay basically consists of going to the field you own and driving over them with different attachments. Uh, you plow it first, and then you cultivate it, sow it, fertilize, and then harvest it. Um, and even the fertilization is op uh, optional. You can water it as well and do uh, bug control and stuff like that. Um, so when you start out in free play mode, you start out with a tractor. Uh, you get a little uh, harvester guy to pick up the crops. Uh, you, there's your little harvester attachment. You get your uh, plow, cultivator, uh, you know, or the sower actually. Uh, and then uh, cultivators around here somewhere. Uh, and then you basically earn money uh, by selling your crops and then, uh, you know, grow your business that way. You can buy additional equipment, buy more fields, stuff like that. Pretty typical for this uh, type of game. Uh, take a minute to talk about the interface. The interface is pretty terrible. Um, the game really wants you to use a gamepad. Um, and even if you go to the options menu here uh, and you go to the control settings, it's all on a gamepad. Uh, it doesn't tell you what the keyboard controls are at all, except during the tutorial. Uh, and sometimes you'll get prompts uh, in the game. You cannot change the keyboard to, uh, commands. And uh, if you don't have a tutorial for that control, you basically never figure out what they are. Um, so, you know, it makes it really hard to, to uh, learn the game. Uh, what I'm going to do first, I'm actually going to jump in my truck. Um... Actually, let's exit the truck. Hold down Q. Um, what I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to... And you can also see, and we'll deal with this a little bit too, you can see this really, like, probably because of the game's console roots, this really severe pop-in with shadows and other textures, uh, which looks pretty terrible. Uh, and this is even with all of the... Uh, uh, options pumped up all the way. There's no mouse sensitivity, so you use the mouse to control the camera, but there's no way of slowing it down or adjusting it at all, uh, which is pretty terrible. Uh, let's see if I can remember where the weight is. Oh, there it is. Uh, so you have to put the counterweight on here so you don't flip the thing backwards. The other thing, the driving uh, handling is pretty bad as well. A lot of the vehicles... Uh, basically speed up and slow down at the same rate, so the gas is just as powerful as the brakes, which is not really what happens uh, in real life. And I'm going to hitch that to the front, and there it goes. And then I'm going to back up and get this crappy plow on my car. It starts you out with a pretty bad plow, or my tractor, I guess. Again, it's it's really, really difficult to control this because... Like I said, it accelerates and brakes at the same speed. So you accelerate really quick, you know, accelerate slow and then brake slow. Alright, so I'm going to dry this thing over to my field. We'll just go over to field one. If I can get over there without running into something. Uh, you really don't want to collide into anything because you get stuck all the time. I've had to reload games just getting stuck on really small objects and stuff like that. You can see the texture pop in on the road here pretty uh, easily. All right, so we're going to drive over to this field. Uh, you can also see while uh, 
you use the mouse wheel to zoom in. Well, you can see that the uh, models on the equipment and stuff are actually pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of graphical issues. You can see this little kind of glowing, these glowing lines on the field. That ha This happens kind of a lot in the game. That's probably, you know, where regions of the map match up. Stuff like that. So basically what you do, and this is the entire game, uh, if you press control, that gives you this little wheel thing. Again, this is really designed for a gamepad where you can lower your equipment so you can use it. And then you basically just kind of drive in a straight line. And then you'll go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until you uh, plow this thing enough to uh, move on to the next phase of uh, managing it. The other option you can do is you can press the R key to pay some money to have the worker a worker do it. So that's exactly what it did. So the worker is going to automatically do it. Now you can't actually see the worker using your equipment, but you don't have access to your plow or your tractor until they're done, which takes kind of a while. Um, usually it's a better idea to have the workers do your own land so you can go out and do jobs for other farms, which is what I'm going to end up doing after I go into town for a second to show off some of the stuff there. So go in here with the uh, terrible texture pop-in. Now I'm going to hop in my truck uh, and we'll venture into town. To show off kind of some of the uh, equipment and stuff like that. In addition to doing crops, you can also raise animals. This gives a little bit more variety, but still nothing that, um, you know, really changes up the gameplay. Uh, I did discover cruise control is the C key, even though uh, the game doesn't tell you that. I'm going to mosey on over. You can buy seeds and stuff at that store. You see, not very, you never see any other workers actually working in any of the farms. Um, you don't see hardly any cars going around. You don't see any people walking down the street or anything like that. It's a pretty lifeless uh, environment here. And again, it goes from basically that mountain to that mountain over there. That's how big uh, the area is. And there's an invisible wall uh, that you'll hit if you go too far uh, in one direction. So I'm going to go to the tractor store just to show off. I don't actually have any money for much of anything yet. Um, just to kind of show off uh, what they have here. So I'm going to get out of that. So here we are. So a lot of different equipment here. You know, you have tractors, harvesters, uh, plows, cultivators, sowing machines. Basically something for every stage. Sprayers for insects, fertilizer, manure, water tanks, uh, trailers to haul stuff around, harvesters, mowers, and tedders to make hay, balers for, you know, hay bales. Uh, and then the truck to get around. So, you know, there's actually a decent variety of uh, equipment to get. Um, and there's different types of each type that basically just give you better stats for a higher price. But again, and I'm going to get stuck on this thing. Um, the game's actual gameplay is extremely repetitive. You're just driving your tractor with one piece of equipment across the same field back and forth and back and forth until you reach some threshold. So the management aspects of the game are very, very basic. You know, you'd still have to do that. Now you can hire workers to plow your fields for you, um, but you're still going to be doing the same things over and over again uh, in order to make money and kind of progress in the game. So I'm going to check out the job board here. You can go to other farms. Uh, there's like a handful of them around the map. Check out their jobs. Uh, yeah, I'll do the harvester. It's actually kind of a lot of money. Sometimes you have to bring your own equipment. Sometimes they'll give you the equipment. So that one's a fertilizing job. I should get way more for harvesting, so I'll do that. So they give you uh, your equipment. You just have to kind of run over to it in the shed. So I will do that. And then we'll have to attach the harvester to it. It can also be difficult to get in some of the vehicles, especially the harvester. Um, so we'll see if I can actually figure out where the point is that I have to go to trigger the Q key. Yeah, this is pretty much what happens about three quarters of the time. Well, again, you know, there's a, a 
good number of issues with this game. I should be getting a prompt for this. Oh, there it is. I just saw it. Ugh, goodness gracious. All right. Great camera view right there. You know, when you're in a building, it's like impossible to see what you're doing. All right, so we're going to attach this thing to the front. And then we're going to go harvest some stuff. Come on, there we go. Hitch to the front. All right. Let's see which field we're going to. Try not to hit anything on the way. Break, break. Ugh, so sluggish. And do not hit anything with this harvester because that's going to get me in big trouble. I don't even know if I can get out of here with this. Where am I going? That field probably right. No, no, actually I'm going down the road a little bit. Right, we'll try to get out of here without hitting anything. No promises. Nope, let me hit that. That's right, we're still good. <laughs> I'm holding up traffic. Sorry, one car that's coming down the road. Yeah, not the closest field going on the one down there. All right, so I'm gonna put it on cruise control so I don't kill my finger pressing the W key. Uh, you know that's basically it. <laughs> you know, like I said, you're doing the same. Uh, you know, driving back and forth just with five or six different attachments on your uh, equipment. You know, harvesting animals is just another. You know, step of. Excuse me. Uh, you know, giving them water and, and hay and stuff like that doesn't really add too much variety to it. There's different crops you can have. There's, uh, they have wheat, barley, rye, canola, corn, and grass in the game. It's like the furthest away field ever. This is ridiculous. This thing is so slow, too. Going off-road... Oh yeah, well, the field that uh, actually has crops on it. I mean, we'll see how long this takes to do it. Whee! Alright, so... Turn it off cruise control here for a sec. Alright, so if you go to my control menu, we will... Activate the tool. And away we go. So it gives you these ridiculously long uh, time limits. Like I have <laughs> an hour and a half to, to harvest this, which is insane. Now the one thing I will say is that the game makes it pretty obvious which areas you've done work on and which areas you haven't because it draws the lines a different way. So at least in that sense you can kind of keep an, a track of uh, you know what's going on there. The dirt that gets kicked up is, it's all cubed. It's very, very weird. Like all that waste material back there is cubed. And when you're doing plowing and stuff, it brings up like cubes from the ground. It's very weird. Um, but this is basically it. You know, you're doing the same thing harvesting that you would if you were plowing, cultivating, sowing, fertilizing, or watering. Um, and that's basically it. You know, like I said, you can hire some workers to do the work for you, but this is what you're going to be spending most of your time doing. And then you just reinvest that money into new equipment and stuff like that. So I'll uh, finish this job, which will not take an hour and a half. You do not have to 100% the fields, which is good. If you got probably, I'd say, like 90% of it done, uh, then they'll give you credit for it. You can see why this is going to take an hour and a half, though. Well, I've actually made pretty good progress so far. Luckily, I got a harvesting job where the harvester is super large, so it doesn't take too long. Um, one of the reasons why I passed off that job to a worker is that that beginning plow that they give you is so tiny, it takes forever to get your stuff uh, taken care of. So You see, this crop is pretty good. It's watered well and doesn't have bugs in it. So Not my field, but... You can go around and uh, get different fields, uh, buy them and stuff with your money. Don't see this actually probably won't take too long. And this is basically what the career mode consists of. Is in the beginning you just do jobs for people, um, and then eventually you'll have enough money uh, to purchase your own tractor and and plow and all that stuff. 
But the problem is you need, you know, you basically need all the equipment. So you, you're kind of stuck on doing other people's jobs for kind of a long time because a lot of the equipment is very expensive. And then you can only do one field at a time until you build, you know, multiple tractors with multiple plows and everything. And I'm going way too fast. Downhill. Well, uh, I think we're just going to go this way for right now. <laughs> oh, well. I usually try to stay on the outside and kind of do a little loop sort of thing, but that's all right. Let's see how well we can get this going. I'm very glad that I stumbled upon the cruise control button for the keyboard. Makes it a lot less uh, tedious having to hold down the gas the entire time. For sure. So. Going super slow uphill though. This is fun. <laughs> Still about halfway though. It's going like I don't even know what the it doesn't even say what that is. It's going like nine whatever's probably kilometers per hour, I guess. I'm assuming I'm going to miss this turn again. Try to go wide and try to miss this tree, though. Bigger, well, maybe like another run and a half back and forth should be f pretty much all I need to do. See if I can make the turn this time. Ooh. That was actually pretty good. I don't think I've seen any cars drive by the whole time I've been on this.
Almost there. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm done. Alright, so, stop this. I'm gonna raise this. I'm gonna hightail it out of here. I'll go over to this tunnel and show you what happens when you try to leave the map. So you see, you don't even have to get... It's probably more like 80% of it. You don't have to get the whole thing done. And it doesn't give you any more reward for doing the whole thing. I'm gonna go in the tunnel too. Wee Nah. So sad. <laughs> so... Ugh, and no brakes. Come on, go. Ugh. All right, let's go back to the farm. I gotta remember where the dang farm is. So, how much of that field did I actually do? Yeah, see, it's not even like it's probably like eighty percent. There's actually large chunks of it I didn't do yet. And you can see that line running right through the field there. One of those little graphical things. Cruising along at 30. Ooh, hello. Oh, probably should not hit that. We'll take it back to the farm. See what we get. But it, this is it. This this is real farm. Um, so like I said, the problem is there's a lot of established games in this market area in the ag agricultural sim market, um, and real farm doesn't offer anything new or different. And the things that it does offer is worse than what other games do overall. Um, you know, it's single player only, not that there would really be anybody online I think that you could cooperative, cooperatively play with, but it's always nice to have that feature available. Um, you know, the, the camera is bad, you can't adjust the mouse sensitivity, you can't rebind the keyboard controls or even find out what they are. Um, it can be difficult to get into equipment like you saw with me and the harvester. Actually, the farm's right there. Um... There's little mini map is uh, pretty helpful, but I don't know how to get a larger map if there is one. Uh, you know, the M key doesn't do anything. I didn't see anything on the gamepad controls to uh, say how to do that. I'm not going to run into this thing. Um, the game world is pretty small. Oh, good. That other car got out of the way, so good for him. Uh, and although this is mostly inherent in the type of game that it is, the gameplay... Oh my god, stop. Uh, the gameplay is very repetitive. You know, you are doing the same thing over and over again. You're driving over the same fields just with a different thing on the front of your vehicle. Uh, now, it is a little bit different when you're raising livestock, um, but again, you're still just delivering water and food to the livestock, uh, you know, from around your farm. So it isn't really that much different. Yay. Yay. 8,000 bucks for that. So, pretty good. Um, you know, basically all you do is you just take that money and reinvest it into buying more equipment and more fields um, and stuff like that. And, you know, you exponentially increase your uh, income because you can hire workers to do stuff while you're doing odd jobs on the side, um, which pay more money in the short term, but you'll have more money long term by, you know, buying crops and stuff like that. Uh, in addition, all the interface issues... You know, there's the graphical issues. This is the severe texture pop in for ground textures. Like these shadows just look out, just terrible um, for even having everything cranked up all the way. You know, the game advertises it's a native 4K, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't look any good. You know what resolution it is. You know, and they should just put everything on the on the thing. But I think it's probably more because the game engine can't handle it. Um, you know, the 
All the vehicles accelerate and brake at the same rate, which makes them really painful to use. There's bad collision physics. Um, and then, that's basically it. There's too many rough parts to the game, and there's very limited variety uh, in the gameplay. Uh, between the vehicle handling, the collision physics, the control issues, the fact that, you know, it's clearly designed for gamepad. It doesn't even tell you, you know, what the keyboard controls are outside of the tutorial. And when you get near an object you can interact with, um, you know, you can't change how sensitive that is there. Uh, and the little gra gra graphical glitches as well. And just, it's limited in the gameplay too, you know. The, it's only a handful of things that you can end up doing in the game, so... Uh, because of of that, it might be you know a decent first step uh, if there wasn't already you know five different agricultural sims uh, on the market already. And because of that, because of the competition it has and really all the rough edges in this game, it's a game that I cannot recommend. Uh, that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.